Hey guys, Marshall from Going Gear Shot Show 2016 in Las Vegas with Ben from CRKT. How's it going, man? I'm so good, Marshall. Uh, so Ben is going to show us all the new products from CRKT. How many do you guys have this year? 34 new ones in the CRKT line alone. How long is this video going to take? It's going to take an hour. So guys, go get some popcorn. <laughs> We're going to rock it. It should take about three, four minutes. We'll, we'll cruise. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, guys, we're going to start off with the newest Ken Onion. This is called the Outrage. It's got IKBS in it. Marshall, I need you to put your microphone down by the, uh, the IKBS. Listen to this, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. You like that sound, don't you? That's a good sound. That's a beautiful sound. I love IKBS. This Ken Onion knife has a beautiful fit and finish to it. Aluminum handle with a corduroy look to it. Locking liner, deep carry pocket clip, tip up carry. Solid blade. This is Ken Onion's newest, it's called The Outrage. I thought you were criticizing my mic placement at first. I was like, I thought it was in a pretty good place. No, we just need some sweet <laughs> gnat sounds, yeah? Like, well, I get, that, uh, I get that now. Yeah, totally. I love gnat sounds, man. All right, next one we got going on is the Amicus. This is designed by Jesper Voxnes. He's out of Denmark. And uh, the thing I like about this one is it's got these great Scandinavian features, uh, very Nordic. Just simple, but also very beautiful style. Flat grind on that one, thumb hole opener, frame lock, stainless steel handles. Beefy blade, um, tip up or tip down carry on the pocket clip. So that'll be plain edge as well? Will be plain edge as well. So you got triple points or plain edge. And most of these, I don't have the prices memorized off the top of my head, but we're running your typical price points for CRKT. $39.99 to $69.99. I think the outrage is $69.99. $69.99, $59.99. Kind of that price point is where we're at. So this one's called the Fulcrum, and uh, I've officially nicknamed it the uh, Fiddler's Knife. Oh, man. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There it is. Okay, so the way it works, push over there, open the knife. It's a total, you, know, you have that guy in your office that sits there and plays with a knife all day? Yeah, all of us. <laughs> all of you. This is a knife for you because it's total weird opening mechanism for fiddlers. So, uh, fiddlers as in people that can't keep their hands still. So, called the Fulcrum. Let's see, what else we got? Lucas Burnley. If you don't know who Lucas Burnley is, go do a little uh, Google him. He's solid, solid dude. This one's called the Buku. And uh, frame lock, stainless steel handle. You got a Kukri shape to it. Marshall's laughing at the name Buku. Lucas I, is a silly man. He is a silly man, but he's a solid dude. Deep carry pocket clip. This is a big one. It's uh, definitely not a tiny knife. I think the blade length is three and three quarter inches. So you're pushing four inches on that blade length. Just a cool one. What else we got? All right, I pick favorites. This one is Brian Tai's, it's called the Tai Tac 2. And it is actually my favorite from Brian Tai. Um, I'm more about simple design. Brian has a tendency to have really outrageous designs. Um, but this one's just super simple, tip up carry pocket clip, deep carry. Uh, you got a flipper on it with a button lock, so. I love that he works his name into the name of every single knife. Every single knife. It's super fun. But this one's cool, lightweight, 3.4 ounces, barrel spacers on the back. I like it. I like simple, non, I don't know, more discreet knives, you know? I think those, this is a great one from Brian Ty. All right, what else have we got? <clears throat> Let's talk hunting for just a minute. Two new knives from Tom Krein. These two are the Mossback Hunter series. You got the Mossback Hunter and the Mossback Bird and Trout. Two solid pieces, G10 handles on both of them, SK5 steel, and uh, I love the Ergos. Check that out, in hand, nice and solid, as well as that one. So if you're a hunter, these are great ones with a nylon sheath on both of those. All right, 34 new products, I'm cruising. Where are we going? Let's go to this one. Civet is what this one's called. This is by Flavio Acoma, and uh, Marshall just bumped the tripod. I'm gonna call, I'm calling you out on that. I've, I've done you it quite a few times. All right, that was Marshall's. So this one's called the Civet, designed by Flavio Acoma, and the cool thing about this one is the, uh, it's a neck knife, lightweight, 8CR13 steel, but the uh, sheath on it actually comes apart. I want to show you that. So like, if you clean something, or if you, I don't know, get apple junk on your knife, you can take that apart, 
and clean the inside of the sheath. And then it slides back together. And then once you've got that chain in there, the chain's gonna hold the, the pieces of the sheath together. So kind of an innovative design on that sheath. Is that uh, Flavio's design as well, the sheath? So I believe the sheath, um, I think it was a collaboration between Flavio Acoma and Rick Lala. Uh, Rick is another Brazilian um, who actually helped. He's the uh, IKBS, he's yeah. the K. Right. Korth, right? So I believe that was a collaboration between those uh, for the civet. So pretty cool design there. And that also comes in a Bowie blade as well. So there's that. All right. Okay, guys, 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 guys. Check this out. I'm gonna pull three pieces at once. Here, we gotta clear the board a little bit. Here we go, here we go. One, two, and where is that third one? There it is. Okay, this is cool. These three pieces are part of a program called Forged by War. And what it is, is we take veterans' designs. So we have three vets that submitted designs to us, and we make their designs, we pay a royalty to the vet, and we also give 10% of our profits to charity. Uh, and the charity of the choice from the veterans. So this one goes, 10% of our profits go to the Green Beret Foundation. Um, what's the other one called? Purple Heart Homes and the Green Beret Foundation, which I think is super cool because you've got these great designs. This one's by Austin McGlon. He served in Iraq and Afghanistan, got blown up. This is his knife design called the Clever Girl. He's actually out of Georgia. Yeah, Georgia Pride, yeah, Georgia Pride. G10 handle on this one. You got a nice powder coat on it with a glass reinforced nylon sheath. And I just think it's cool that we've, we've gotten so much from the veteran community as a company. They all carry our knives. And so it's cool to see us giving back in this way. This one's called the Burler Axe, designed by Elmer Rausch. He served in Vietnam. So well, um, hickory handle on there, solid little pack axe. And then the next one, is, is there gonna be a sheath with that? There will be an aftermarket leather sheath, okay. so. It's gonna be a two-piece deal there. So, not ideal sometimes, but that's the way it is. Same as the uh, RMJ. Exactly, same gig. So, next one we got going on is designed by Darren Saras. Sara is how you pronounce his name. Um, this is called the Sangrador. It's a dagger blade. He's special forces, dude. G10 handle, and then the sheath, right there, nylon sheath. So, I'm stoked about that because I think it's, it's a good cause. They're great designs by great designers. Holy smokes, we got a lot of products. All right, these are the El Santo Trauma Shears. So these are designed by Michael Martinez, spring-loaded. You got a uh, pant cutter there, glass breaker, oxygen wrench, all that jazz, solid stuff. Hit me with another, oh, Marshall's gonna like this one. Marshall's kind of an outdoor guy, and he's a, he's a trinket man. I am. Certified trinket, this is called the Niad. And it's actually a climbing knife designed by Hans Florin. Hans Florin is a world record speed climber. He's climbed the nose of El Capitan like a million times and he holds the record several times over. He's lost it and won it back. But uh, super lightweight and you can stick a carabiner in there and then the knife won't open. Imagine my finger is a carabiner. <laughs> there it is. So, very cool knife from Hans Florin. All right, let's talk Ruger for a minute, guys. Marshall, will you loan me your arm? No. Just size comparison. Oh. Stick it out there. Yes, then. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out. I don't know if the camera catches that, but look at how big that knife is. In hand, huge knife. This is called the Going Heavy, designed by Mr. Bill Harsey. And uh, it's modeled after like an AR-15, Ruger AR-15 uh, rifle. So that's kind of how the Ruger line works, is all the knives take design cues from Ruger products. So it's co-branded. You got Ruger on the one side and CRKT on the other. There's going to be a smaller version of that big guy, right? There is a smaller version, yes. Um, but this is the uh, this is for those guys that just need to compensate, you know? <laughs> no, I think it's a cool knife and it's huge. Really fun. So that's a Ruger. You got another Ruger here. This one's designed by, uh, I believe, Ryan Johnson, if I'm not mistaken. Um, another great fixed blade product. I'm trying to remember the name. All this is new. Pot, powder keg on this one. So, solid knife from Ryan Johnson with a leather sheath right there. Holy smokes, this is a lot of products, guys. Thanks for hanging in there. Do we need like an intermission? Nah. Popcorn? Let's do it. All right, we're doing That's it. That's what the pause button's for. <laughs> All right, we got the follow through from Matthew Lurch, also a Ruger design. 
cool thing about this is there's seven new families from CRKT and Ruger. So definitely go check it out. I'm just, that's a sample of those ones. Do we hit this one? Let's hit this one too. Also Ruger. So good stuff. Next one. This one's another Ryan Johnson in the CRKT line. It's called the Pangolin. It's a, comes with this sheath here, glass reinforced nylon sheath plus glass reinforced nylon handle. You got a powder coat on there. Fits in there nicely, good detent. The other cool thing I wanted to show you, you're familiar with tech locks, right? So tech locks typically have a little piece that you pinch, you have to yank it out of there, and then they have a safety. This is just a button tech lock. So it opens just like that. And it has a secondary safety right there. So push that over and that tech lock doesn't open up. So kind of a cool feature there on that one. All right. What about, what about these guys? These guys here, holy smokes, 34 products. And we're cruising. Obaki Skoshi. You guys have seen the Obaki regular. Let me get that out of there. This is the smaller version of the Obaki. You got faux ray skin handles, cord wrapped handle, as, long as, uh, as well as that acid etched tie nitride finish on there. Along with Lucas Burnley's classic uh, wrap that's gonna hook onto the belt. So there's that one. And the OC3. This is designed by Pat Cassio. You got a double edge there. You got a micarta handle on there, black finish on it, solid blade. What else we got? Alan Foltz, the Minimalist. So you guys have probably seen the Minimalist before. This is the Minimalist with a black stone wash, drop point blade with a G10 handle on it. Glass reinforced nylon sheath, fits around your neck, right there. Solid knife. Ooh, Marshall's pulling like more and more stuff. Some of this is from Outdoor Retailer, and I think Marshall was, wasn't there? I was not. He was not there, so he hasn't seen this stuff, but I've seen it before. So I'm gonna tell you, this is the uh, Bivy multi-tool, and the way it works is it's actually, let me close it here. Hold on guys, hold on, there it is. So you got spring-loaded pliers. This is also a Hans flooring design. Spring-loaded pliers right there, and then you got a knife blade on this side, right there. And that's got a locking liner on it. As well, you have a knot unpicker right there. Um, and the guy that designed this, Hans Florian, he does rigging in his spare time. So he rigs for a group called uh, Bandaloop. They do like, they hang off buildings and stuff. Kind of cool. So he designed this like tool for, for fun? Uh, for entertainment. Okay. Like, I guess for fun, yeah. <laughs> so like they'll set up a, they'll set up like a high wire rigging off a building in New York and guys would like dance on the side of the building. And so this is his tool to rig that sort of stuff. So, Fair enough. There you go. What else you got, Marshall? Oh man, another mid-year. This is called the Hyphenate. Another Hans flooring design designed as a climbing knife. You got VEF serrations on there. It's lightweight, fits in there and then you uh, slip a carabiner through the middle and it hangs just like that. Marshall's like pulling all sorts of stuff. More! More. He's all over the place. I Why know. not look at him? I know, man. All right, this one's called the Cordite from Ruger, designed by Ryan Johnson. Let me get it out of there. You got a black stone wash on there, as well as that cord wrapped handle, 550 paracord. And then I like this little detail from Ryan. You have this uh, revolver style clip on there, little uh, bead. bead, bead, that's the word I'm looking for. It's late in the day, we're there. You know, one thing I was looking at when I yeah. saw this for the first time is how beefy it is. I mean, that totally. is a super thick. On that. Totally thick, solid knife. So a nice beefy little skeletonized knife. Yep, yep. Again, from Ryan Johnson. What didn't I get? Tactical pen, Tau Pen 2, designed by Alan Elishowitz. And, oh, uh, it doesn't screw. It doesn't screw. That's awesome. Yeah. Nobody wants to sit there and unscrew it. So we redesigned it to not screw. Fisher Space Pen refill in there. Bam. Just like that. What did I miss, man? Holy shit. I think that's everything. I'm sure someone will let us know in the comments. I'm sure they but will. But I, th I think we're good to go. All right, Ben. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. Thanks, Marshall.